Selecting an appropriate auth method. Authentication policies in Smoothwall are located in the Web Proxy, Authentication, Policy Wizard. Here we are able to see the different policy methods available to select for both transparent and non-transparent policies. But which are the most common policies? And when are they used? First, looking at non-transparent methods. By default, a Smoothwall implementation will be configured to use core authentication out of the box. This enables the use of Kerberos login scripts, radius accounting, or other recognized methods for login and authentication. The Negotiate Kerberos method gives the browser the option to authenticate using either Kerberos or NTLM. This option works well when you have an Active Directory domain that Max may also join, as it enables you to use one proxy setting for all of your clients. If you want to combine Negotiate with the Kerberos login scripts, which also run on both Windows and Mac, you can use a via redirect method. If there is no username associated with an IP address, the user will be redirected to a web server on the Smoothwall, which will prompt them for authentication. In the case of Negotiate Kerberos NTLM, the web server will look like it is a Windows server. Usually, this will utilize single sign-on and so the user will not in fact get a visible prompt on screen, but the browser will use credentials without asking the user to type anything in. This redirection will not occur until the login timeout has expired. The login timeout can be viewed in the Smoothwall under Services, Authentication, Settings. Here you will see an option for Global Login Timeout. You can configure this time for your individual needs. Commonly, in settings such as a school, a short time is used to ensure that when one user logs off, another user will be authenticated quite quickly. Corporate environments and public services commonly use longer time periods as people more frequently stay at one workstation for longer periods of the day. Looking back within the policy wizard, we can also choose transparent authentication and view the methods available. Here, core authentication is the default. The typical use for transparent authentication is for guest users or those who are not members of the domain. And so you want to prompt them to use login credentials you have provided. Those credentials might be held on the Smoothwall, in an Active Directory, or Radius, for example. We can then choose redirect to an SSL login page, which is secured, or to a non-SSL page, which is not. In wireless networks, it is possible to configure client separation, which means that clients cannot intercept traffic from another wireless client. This means that you are able to use the easier method of the non-SSL login page. The advantage of this is that there is no need for certificates to trust and no requirements to get non-domain joined devices to be able to log in. Many of the non-transparent authentication methods have a compatibility mode for terminal services, which are also valid for Citrix. When authenticating terminal servers, where there are multiple users behind a single IP address, this mode does not cache any authentication or credentials, but instead will authenticate every request that comes through from a client. This is useful where there are very restricted users using the same terminal server as very unrestricted users. They will both still be able to browse and get the appropriate filtering.